Of course, we all know how to uninstall a plugin on WordPress. Access your dashboard, go to plugins, select deactivate, and then uninstall for any of the plugins you want. The problem is that some plugins alter the WordPress core databases by creating tables and managing data. And upon uninstallation, they don't remove their respective database tables and entries. This is usually because developers want to maintain user settings in case you ever reinstall. But some plugins just leave bits and bytes of data that can eventually clog up your server and start affecting performance and query times. Additionally, some plugins leave traces of their files in your file system itself. So how do we fix this? Well, step one is to access your site via FTP and ensure the plugins folder is no longer in your plugin directory. If it's still there, go ahead and delete it. Now let's get rid of orphan tables in your database. We don't recommend this for everyone since it can be considered advanced. Remember to back up your site first in case things go wrong. With that in mind, install and activate the advanced database cleaner plugin. You might find it odd to use a plugin to get rid of plugins, but this one makes dealing with your database so simple that it's worth it. And when it's time to uninstall, it leaves no traces. The WP DB cleaner menu item takes you to a simple page where you can see all the orphaned and generally wasted space in your database. You will notice that not everything here is plugin related. In this screenshot, there are over 4,500 post revisions that are being stored. To the right of each category, you can set a number of days to exclude. For example, you can set it to exclude the past 14 days of post revisions, just in case they're needed because they're recent. Just select the items to purge, press clean, and your site will get much smoother. For more specifically plugin related data, you will go into the tables tab. Tables are generally named in a decently readable format, and you can likely figure out what plugin they belong to. But if you can't, the pro version of the plugin will tell you that information. All of the tables listed here are from plugins that are no longer installed. Not all of these tables have data in them, but all of them exist as data in the database. From the dropdown, you could select to optimize, repair, delete, or empty the rows. We suggest that you only use delete sparingly and optimize wherever possible. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.